What up, let's get to it. Before I start, I want to say, rest in paradise to young thug's baby mother. She was tragically gunned down outside of a bowling alley. Sad situation, sad story. May her soul rest in paradise. May she be at peace, be in a better place. Before I get into the story, I assume it's a lot of different opinions on what happened, what didn't happen. From the outside looking in. First thing I want to get to, you know, some will say what she sacrificed. At the end of the day, like I said, you don't know who knows. Anything is possible in that room. Don't put nothing past no one in that room. It's a wicked game they play. A wicked game we, the world, plays, right, in general, on an everyday, day-to-day, -day, right? So, could he have sacrificed her, his baby mother, the mother of his seed, someone who he obviously cares for, has love for? I assume he could have. Do I think that's what happened? It doesn't feel like one of those events. But let's get into it. Dude who shot her was a coward, a bitch. Wasn't a gangster. Those weren't gangster actions. It was pussy. It was weak, cowardly. He was a demon lurking. Somebody should have been murdered. You get into an argument with a woman. You so emotional like a bitch. You got a leader bowling alley. You could have left and went home. You know, you could have left, took your ass home, smoked a blunt, had a drink, whatever. Calm your mind, chill out. No matter how small you may have felt. No matter how bad you feel like she may have carried your bitch ass out in front of your homeboys, people in the bowling alley. Had you looking weak like a punk. Talk crazy to you. you know what happens when it's a real heated argument, especially with black women. Sometimes that mouth just goes. It's what it is. But you know she a damn woman. So instead of leaving and go home, you so emotional and worked up, you allegedly wait for her outside. Like she, uh -huh. <laughs> like she your enemy. Like she come and try to kill you or something, do harm to you. And all y'all had was a verbal altercation. You couldn't take that on the chin, bitch. You couldn't hold that in. Now you a coward. You got to use your gun, that's all you can use. Cause she probably could have beat your ass with her hands. <laughs> you gotta pull your gun. Take someone's life. Take a mother from her children, right? The easy route, the easy way. Cause you mad and angry and feel justified. You ain't thinking about nothing else, nobody else but yourself and your emotions. You ain't thinking about how you taking this life will affect another life, will affect a generation. Y'all niggas is pussy. Wicked vultures lurking. When I say we living in Babylon, that's facts. Look around. This is a perfect example of numerous, of millions of perfect examples on a day-to-day -day basis. So you had an argument, she belittled you, talked crazy to you, probably talking about your clothes, your fake chain, about how she got a bigger bag than you. Probably said she could put a bag on your head. Probably called you dusty and musty and rusty. Called you a buster, what you are. I'm sure everything she said, if it was, you know, just a bunch of negative shit, the worst thing you could say, I'm sure it was true about you. Probably called you a coward, a scared, a punk, a sissy, all that. Probably flexed on you, threw some bands in your face, show some jewelry off, whatever it was. You can't walk off from that dog. Take a black mother from her children, her seeds, leave motherless childs. I know it's not about color, but in some situations it is. But you couldn't spare her. You were so mad and worked up. You couldn't spare her. Woman, I'm assuming the same color as your mother. You didn't even see none of that though, did you? You didn't see none of that. Black women getting abused, beat down, killed on a day to day. They get enough of that. We supposed to be protecting. We talk about real shit, real gangster. They supposed to be protected in the hood, in the burbs, in the hair salon in the food restaurants, at the store, at the gas station. They're supposed to be protected, nigga. Everybody want to talk about gangster. You killing the women. They're supposed to be protecting the women. But you a gangster. You's a bitch. And everybody else, anybody else who think like you is a bitch. I don't got no problem saying it. 
So you allegedly gun her down outside after waiting for her. Like you stalking prey or something. You sick. You evil, you wicked. Big a family mourning because of an argument, huh? An argument that you could have just walked away from. Still had your life, she would have still had hers. Then you turn yourself in. Instead of going on a run, fighting the police, shooting out with the police, since you so gangster. Shooting it out with the hood, the people who are gonna be on your ass for the acts you committed, since you so gangster. Going all in, all out, you ready to kill, right? You ready to bust your still. You that cool and comfortable with killing, but you turn yourself in, allegedly. You's a coward. And once again, anybody who believe like you, who moves like you is a coward and deserve a righteous kill. You took a life easily with no second guessing, no thinking, have no remorse for humanity. Humanity has no remorse for each other, no love for each other. But people run around and throw it under the rug and march around and human this, human that, human acts. But no one speaks up or marches or causes ruckus or chaos unless it benefits them, right? If there's a bag behind it, it's good. All right. That's my opinion on this situation. Once again, rest in paradise, young thug's baby mother. May their family find peace and get a close to the situation. May there definitely be justice in this situation. Treat all law. Once again, rest in paradise. Oh, me. Oh, me. I ain't got no picture, hit me. Like that.